And two students who lie, whose lives were taken by gunfire received a special honor this afternoon. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega joins us live now in Miami with the emotional tribute. Aralia. Erica, these two students who were killed in separate shootings were looking forward to graduating from high school and continuing on to college. But sadly, they never lived to see this day when their classmates at Miami Jackson Senior High walked across the stage and got their diplomas. So instead, their families with tears in their eyes were awarded those diplomas posthumously. On a day filled with cheers. Laughter <laughs> and excitement for Miami Jackson senior high graduates and their loved ones. A bittersweet day for the families of two teens who never got to walk across the stage to get their high school diplomas. Their lives cut short by murderous bullets in our community. Cowardly bullets that have stolen not only their lives, but the innocence of children. 18-year-old Pedro Uriarte was fatally shot in November while walking near Wynwood. 16-year-old Brian Herrera was on his way to a friend's house when he was shot in broad daylight just before Christmas at the intersection of Northwest 11th Avenue and 39th Street. The family sitting together, wiping away tears as they waited to posthumously receive their son's diplomas. We're sad because he's not here in the physical form, but nonetheless, we know he's here. This is an honor for me. My son earned it, said Pedro's mother. Both teens eager to graduate and continue on to college. The emotions the families felt to receive the diplomas, indescribable. I couldn't just contain myself. Um, it was um, sad, but I, I was glad that somebody didn't forget about him. And sadly, the family say their son's killers have not been caught and they're asking for the public's help. If you have any information, contact Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. Reporting live in Miami, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News. Aurelia, thank you.